Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you an amazing Aniton automation that is a virtual try-on agent for dropshipping. So this agent will scrape all the garments on the AliExpress pages and then generate an images of the models with, with the garment try on So here is the video flow that we are going through. First would be the problem statement, then would be the solution, then the flow of the automation, then the step-by-step -step explanation and how to sell. So first of all, let us see that wo what are we going to make. So here would be the final sheet that we are going to get. Here would be the first of the image, the image of the garment as I open this. So here would be the image of the garment. And then if I see the generated images that are the final images that we get are these. So this is, this will be the final image that we are getting. And these images we can list on our dropshipping websites. So let us understand the automation through video flow. First would be the problem statement. Then while starting a fashion drop shipping business, you need to go through these processes. First is searching the garment on the AliExpress, then extracting the metadata details from the garment page. Third would be to download the photo and fourth would be making a new listing on your website. So this process is very lengthy and cumbersome, but here is the solution that can be done through an automation. The automation can search the garment on AliExpress. You just need to define the category and the keyword. The automation can also save the metadata details in a Google Sheet. Third, getting the photo and generating the model with the garment try on. And fourth would be a make a new listing on your website. So creating a new website as of now from AI is little tricky, but you can do that with us. If you want an e-commerce website for your dropshipping business, you can go onto this link and can book a call and we are going to provide you a high quality website in very short period of time. So now we would understand the flow of the automation. The flow of the automation would be below. First, the automation will scrape the AliExpress pages using AP5 scrapers. We are going, we are using AP5 scrapers here. Then this automation will save the details in the Google Sheet. Third would be generating, generate the model with a virtual try on using file.ai models. And fourth would be adding the generated images in the Google Sheet. Now we will understand this step by step explanation of the whole automation as well as the live demo. So here is our N8N 10 platform. And first of all, I would like to make you understand all the nodes. So here is the workflow trigger node. That is a manual node you can add. And here is the scrape AliExpress node. So it is a simple HTTPS node. If we go through this, here we have used post method and the URL that we have used is getting the dataset items as well as authentication is set to none. And we are going to specify the headers along with the authorization and the bearer token. And here is the J JSON that we are going to pass. Don't worry if you are finding this as overwhelming, I will try to understand you in better way. So if we go to the AP5, you just need to search about this AliExpress scraper. I will provide the link of the actor in the YouTube description also. And in that, you just need to go to the input page. Then in the manual as well as JSON, you can set the view to manual as well as JSON. So you just need to set the below parameters in order to get your desired value. The max items for this video, I'm setting to two, but sometimes the re result are coming as five or six. So I don't know why this is not working, but just let us leave that. And in the scrape by search terms, we can add all the category and the keywords that for which we are going to search the art articles. And in the other parameters, you can add about the currency, the, the language that you are looking for. And if you go to the JSON part, here you will getting the JSON object. And now let us understand that how will you create an curl that would be easily implemented in the HTTPS node. So first of all, all you need to do is go to this API endpoints. And in the API endpoints for the run actor synchronously and get data set items, open the view API reference. I have already opened that. You just need to click on the CLI and the curl. Just don't copy 
this curl as of now you just need to enter these values so the bearer token you you would get in the account if you go to the settings part of your page on the ap5 console and then the api integration you can just copy this and then paste in the bearer token part for the parameters for the actor id it is very simple to get the actor id you just need to come on this page and just copy the actor id from the url for the body we can simply copy the json object that we have created on the aliexpress page go to the json part copy this and then paste now the object is created and you can easily use this curl in order to imp import the request so just keep this on cli and curl and then copy this now once copied you just need to go to the https node and then import on curl and then paste your request here if you paste this all the details will be pre-entered and all all you need to do is add the AP, api token so through this the ap5 scraper will scrape all the details from the aliexpress pages then i've added a wait node in order to let the process complete and here i have keep the seconds as 5 and then we are going to get the status so for getting the status all you need to do is go to the aliexpress page then the api api endpoints and go to the last part that is yeah get the last run so just if you click on test endpoint you will get the data that if your last run is successfully completed or not so all you need to do is copy this and then just paste here with get as method and authentication to none and after this because authentication is there in the token only so once this is done this will fetch if our run is is completed or not then i have added an if node in the if node this will check if the status of our run is succeeded or not if it is not then it will try again if it is then we are going to move forward in the edit field section i have added a product code parameter and in the product code parameter since this is coming as a number i want to convert this to a string therefore i have i am adding pd in front of the number so that this is converted as a string so once this is done we are going to add the details in our google sheet in the google sheet we are using the operation as append row and the document that i am using is virtual try on image any time template i will provide this template in the youtube description and i am then mapping each column ma manually so here is the image url product code product title original price and price so how are we going to calculate the price price is original price minus the discount price so here i have added this and then we are getting the number of articles that are sold the product url store id store name store url and generated photo and generated demo so we are not going to fill this as of now and in the sheet if we see i have already added the headers part so it is fetching the headers from that only after adding the details in the google sheet we are going to see the limit part so we can so as of now for example i have added two of the articles for testing purposes therefore i am keeping the limit to two but you can add limit to anything and then we go to the generate image node we are using the post method and for the url we are using this method for the authentication we are keeping at as a generic credential type and for the generic auth type we are keeping this as a header auth for the header auth we are keeping a fal ai account i i will explain you how to set up all this in just a minute and for the body we are keeping this as a json part and we are specifying the body using json for the json we are providing the human image url that you are able to see and then we are providing the garment image so first of all let us understand that what is a file ai model so here is the file ai dot model 
that is a coolers virtual try on and here is the Im human image url as well as the garment image url so this is the human image and this is the garment i want the human to try on so using this model this generates the image of the model with the with the garment that i want it to try on so so this is free with one dollar credit you can see here uh, since i have tested this multiple times hence it is depleted to 0 0.15 dollar in the api part just move to the curl part and here you need to see the response so for the url part you can just copy copy this and then paste in the https node for the authorization we need to set the authorization header as authorization and then we need to set up the api key as follows so the value of the authorization would be key dash your api token so for the api you just need to go to your your image then your account and in the account you can see the api keys you need to generate an api key and then you can use that so in the https node if you see in this if you want to set the header auth account just click on this pencil or create a new account then set the header as authorization so for the value you just need to enter key k e y space and then your api token here and this will work fine after this you need to specify the json body with the human image url and the garment image as i have previously shown then i have added a wait node that will try to get the status and will look if the status is done then we move to other nodes else this will try on again and again in the wait node i have added a 3 second limit and then for the get status so this previous url also provide us a url for the status call so we are checking that status url only and we are keeping the authentication to generic credential type generic or type to header auth and then we are using the file ai account that we have previously set for after the get status we are going to check if the status is equal to completed or not if the status is completed then we move to other step else we try again for the resultant images the url also provides a resultant url in order to check if the images are created or not so we are checking if for the response url and we are keeping the authentication to generic credential type the generic or type to header auth and header auth to fell ai account so after that we are adding these images in our google sheet for a particular product code we are adding we are matching the value of the product code along with the generated photo so once all this is done we will be able to extract the images from the aliexpress pages and then we are able to add those images in our google sheet so if we see here here are the images url as well as the generated photo if you want to see glimpse of those images in our google sheet account then all you can do is add a formula so here is that equal to equal to image and then add the url so url would be this comma and mode would be one so once this is done the image will be loaded in a small thumbnail so we can see this is a small size but if you want to enlarge that here is the generated image url and you can see all the generated images so let us do a live demo of this so let's test the whole workflow and see the automation in action so once you do the test workflow we can see on the apify console that if we go to the runs part we can see the runs and in the runs we are able to see a crawler here also i would like to mention that in the apify account you get the five dollar as a free credit and you can utilize that in order to test the various actors as per your requirements so this is also free as well as generating images is also free from the file ai account because you are getting a one dollar credit there so we can see that we are crawling the images and once this is done 
then we move to the other steps. So here we can see all the images are scrapped from the AliExpress and now images are being generated from the file.ai model and it is checking again and again if the status is in progress or completed. So this is hitting again and again. So now the progress is completed but for this it is in progress and this is completed. And if we see, we have added the images on a Google Sheet. And if we check that, those virtual images. So here are the images. And if we check the image of this article. So here is the image of the article. And here is the generated image. So here is the generated image. Uh, it came perfectly fine. And for the second image, if we see, here is the article and here is the image that came. Yeah, so this is also came very fine. And uh, yeah, this was how the automation ran. And now let us discuss how we are going to sell this. So businesses pay for any automation if they solve any of the problems that are there in their buckets. So first of all, it is generating leads. Either they are generating revenue or the automation is saving time or the automation is saving money. So through this example, we can see this automation saved time as well as saved money. How? By automating the image generation and scraping AliExpress pages, it had saved time, which take a longer time for a human to do. And for saving money, this is or this has automated the model try on images which instead require hiring a model and then paying them. So this is also, this has also saved money. So let us discuss how are you going to create the offer. First, you need to create a loom video of the automation, then cold email the clients and explain its usage, then provide them a seven days free trial and which removes the friction because there is a lack of trust between a business owner and you. And then you can charge $1,500 to $2,000 for the setup as well as can charge a monthly maintenance fee. And here is the email template that I have provided which you can make the changes and then can send the email to the client in order to sell them. So that was all about the virtual try-on agent. If you generally found this video valuable, I would like to request you to please like the video, subscribe the channel and if you have any question regarding this automation or you have any request about a next automation that you want me to create, then please do a comment down in the YouTube comment box and stay tuned for AI related news and automations. Till then, 